All right, I thought I'd uh, put another video together. Um, this one's going to be on recording. Uh, so we're going to cover whether you want to record backing tracks or whether you want to record demos or something like that. Um, this is everything that you're going to need. Um, a few different scenarios. I'm going to give you some different ideas of what you can use. But anyway, let's get started with what you need. First of all, you need a computer of some sort. Uh, if you're looking at buying a computer for recording, uh, go with Mac. Um, there's just so much more that they can do uh, that's going to do it a whole lot better and there's better software that you can get to run with Mac. Um, yeah, just really that's what, it, what uh, the standard is, is to use the Mac stuff. Um, so really all you need to record with is a computer. Uh, you're going to need headphones as well. Uh, but you can just run line in straight into the side of your computer and and record that way. It's just, it's not the best way of doing it, um, but it will do the job. Okay, obviously everything you buy above that is going to cost you money. Okay, um, so we're going to, today we're using a Mac, we're going to be using uh, Logic Pro 9. So there's two uh, really industry standards in terms of recording programs are Logic Pro and Pro Tools, um, they're really the top two, we just happen to use Logic so that's what we're going to be working with today. If you get a Mac, uh, it comes standard with GarageBand on it, so there's a whole lot of stuff you can do with GarageBand, um, but there's just more that you can do with these more advanced programs. So the next thing that I strongly suggest you look at, into is a um, uh, interface like this. Uh, so this is a simple PreSonus USB. Okay, so uh, the rest of our team, um, the ones we use is normally is the Fire Studio Mobile. This is just the one that I happen to have at home today. Um, this is basically the same thing. This is just a simpler version. Okay, um, so this and the difference obviously being uh, USB. This runs through USB, the Fire Studio um, runs through Firewire. Okay, so Firewire is does the same job as USB, but it does it a whole lot faster. Speed is really key when you're recording. Okay, so when you're looking for a new computer, you're looking for um, RAM and that sort of thing, um, the number of cores it's got, anything that's going to make that the thing process faster is going to be better for better quality recordings. Okay, so... Um, the only difference between this Firewire versus USB, and this one has less inputs, um, and it's also it's got my MIDI input straight on the back. With the Fire Studio Mobile, you'll need to just put the um, VGA splitter in the back uh, to get those MIDI inputs. But we'll we'll look at MIDI in another video. This is just going to be basic recording, okay? Um, but MIDI is a great tool to work with, which this is going to help you do. But the main job this does is it's actually a preamp. So anything that goes into the computer, it's going to amplify it first, okay? Which is which is going to do great work for your recordings, um, and it makes life a lot easier because like these plugs on here, they'll take jack or XLR, uh, so you can just plug what you want straight in, okay? On the Fire Studio Mobile, you'll have um, an extra set of outputs on the back, input sorry on the back uh, that are all just straight jack. But they're really handy if you're recording something like drums and you want to record a whole kit at once. Um, you can just take lines out out of, say, a sound desk. But to be honest, when we do when we do demos um, and we use the sound desk, what we do is we just we do a mix on the drums and then we just group them and we just take one line out straight out of the group. Okay, um, just for demos' sake, because it's really just simpler. Cool, so that's um, that's the stuff you're going to need if you're recording uh, vocals, you'll need a microphone, better one than this, this is just a cheap thing that's lying around. Um, generally we use, um, I normally use condenser mics just because I can use them for uh, recording acoustic guitar as well as vocals, um, but yeah you can use dynamic mics for vocals and that sort of thing. So. Cool, I'm going to flick over onto a screenshot now so uh, we can look at how we're going to run this in the program. Okay, so this is the view in Logic Pro 9 that we're using. Um, so I've got an audio track here that I've entered on. You can add extra audio tracks by clicking the plus button there. 
um, you can do a whole lot at once. I could go four if I wanted to, um, and then just hit create. Um, for recording, um, we're going to use audio. When we come to doing MIDI, we're going to use software instrument, but just um, audio for now. We're just going to be recording mono. Uh, input is input one, but we'll look at that soon as well. Um, so there you go, I can do a whole lot at once, but I don't want those just at the moment. Okay, um, so come up here to Logic Pro Preferences, this is kind of like settings.